we've been working here all week, we've been writing some songs, rehearsing, practicing, they've been working really hard. <laughs> We like to shop around, spend it all my pounds. So we like to shop around while spending all my pounds. Trying on my clothes, listening to all the sounds. feel strong about. So when I think of, of something being swampy, I think, you know, I don't think... So George has been playing this song, I think probably for many years in his bedroom, but has been singing it, and I don't think, I think I'm right in saying has never sung it before in public, so no, no pressure or anything George, but um, sounds really good, Marco has just been learning to play the bass this week as well, so, <laughs> but it's been sounding really good in rehearsals, so I'm uh, looking forward to this. to what beauty really is. I need you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't need you to define it to me. But look in the mirror and through the dirty broken bits, realize that your heart is imprinted in the edges and they fit so perfectly. Let your weary heart tell people it's got space for them. It doesn't need to speak it. Let them feel it, understand your soul. Because your posture tells the world you're a soldier fighting a war you don't know you're going into. And that makes you double a soldier that assume you to be. Stand. Stand like bullets go straight through you. Stand like you're defending a lover, a sister, a brother, a mother. Stand like you're defending yourself because you care. And that's okay. Because of stereotypes, I dislike the people who really suffer. But then some people hurt me really hard. I was furious, furious with the stereotypes like a flame had ignited for me to turn into fire. Started in school and then I've continued throughout summer. So I think that, you know, well done girls. 
Um, you're amazing. And we looked at loads of different topics, so what affects them personally, locally and globally. So you can see through the writing that they've explored, they've really thought about them things and gone away and done some further research. When love came into her life, she was finally happy. It was like a winding path with no map. She didn't know what adventure was next. The meetups were perfect. Her stomach made butterfly nuts whenever he smiled at her. He was as sweet as rest my life. Her bond with him was unbreakable. There was obstacles. Her parents, they didn't understand her and her feelings. Although she tried to stay strong, they thought he was using her, playing her. They thought she was going to wreck her life. Who will pay for our universities if no one has ambitions that are no longer useful to the minds of a child who is confused and abused? Houses of Parliament is like a bomb. You never know when they're about to explode. All that I'm trying to say is that a day that doesn't go their way results in something that affects the children of today. My husband won't marry four times on me. We are full of grief, we are all rich. We live a normal life, earning like you, honest and true. We are an extended family, not to an inner group, not seeking other sports, man or not too. Just because I'm Arab doesn't mean I'm Muslim. Just because I'm Pakistani doesn't mean I'm Muslim. Love is like endless <coughs> colours. When the eyes are dazzled by a roller coaster. A roller coaster always having its ups and downs. Love is like a wall fighting inside. Lies and hatred. Beware not to get your heart broken. Love is like a diamond. Hour to hour, month to month. The new mistake helps ignite me like a forest fire, sweeping for new life, new change. I am furious. I am furious. Bruises and scars, so painful, so deep, but no one can hear her sound of weep. All she feels is pain and sorrow, for she doesn't know what will happen tomorrow. For, to have and to hold her, she's your possession, but you just treat her with cruel aggression. Domestic violence is a terrible case. Let's put those bullies in their place. If it happens to men too, so stand up for them, because someday that might be you. Before the performance, I was really scared. I had butterflies in my stomach. And after I've done it, I feel as though it's like been done and over with. And I think people enjoyed it because everyone clapped. And I think I was I got um, really good support from the people that were there. So yeah, I think it was really good, you know, performing a piece in front of everyone. Um, I got a bit emotional on stage. I thought I was going to cry. But, <laughs> and, um, but when I got off stage, I felt like everyone was really supportive. And I think I did a good job. So. Apart from falling over when I got on stage, but I think that was like a hidden part of everything, so I'm really happy. I think it was really good and now I feel more confident than before and now I can perform in front of people. I think the experience was good and I know how to like use poetry again in my life if I wanted to. And um, after I performed my poem, I think I was glad, but at the same time, like, it was a good experience. At first it's quite daunting going on to, you know, my heart was really thumping at the beginning and then once I got on to stage stopped talking and it was actually quite okay. I was like rehearsing and I felt like sick when I wasn't like practicing or anything and I thought I was going to forget my words. But then Nicole went and she introduced me and was just like, just introduce anyone else and I have to go and yes. And it was that dead quiet of it. and then when they applauded for me at the end I felt I felt good and I felt happy about my poem and I thought it came And also I, I read quite a lot, of really fast. And then once I got to stage I I kept having that mind, you know, slow down. And it was really good. And I actually joined me on stage. So it's really fun. We really enjoyed it. Before performing, obviously I was scared, like shaking scared. And then doing it I just felt a bit free and I could finally express what I felt. And at the end of it, I really enjoyed it and I felt like I wanted to do it again. So one more time, who or what is the most important role within the music industry? You think? Well, the like the, the, the songwriter? The singer. Okay. I think all of them. What do we say? So, you know, teach you the basic hand position, how to hold the dart, and how to manage it, you know, with your right and left hand, basically, how to make the sound out of it. Uh, basic rhythms, I'll teach you on that as, as well. Then we're going to play as a group.